Hey everybody, it's Chris, and it's Tuesday, so I'm doing a Top 10 Tuesday video for you guys. Top 10 Tuesday is hosted by The Broken the Bucket, so I'm going to link their blog down below. And I'm also going to put a link to my post that compliments this video on my own blog. And I'm going to get started on the list because it's 10. I'm hopefully going to not make this video too long. My number 10 uh, for this list of authors I really want to meet is Piper Vaughn. Uh, I wanted to meet Piper Vaughn because Wanting is like my favorite book that I read for free in the last like few months uh, and it's a free um, ebook that's available because it was through the Goodreads and my romance group thing and Piper Ron's book is amazing I can't wait for the second book to come out Laura and Joni Jonah are like my favorite uh, Emma romance couple of the year certainly uh, number nine I have Perry Wolford Perry Wolford really pulled me in when he wrote the book Encounter. It's uh, got me pulled back into sci-fi, which I had not been reading for a while. And I also like the first book in the Turn 16 series. I think he can write really real characters. Number eight is Rick Riordan. If you don't know this by now, I'm obsessed with Percy Jackson and the Hero of the Olympus series. Um, I probably wouldn't even be able to actually use real words if I met Rick Riordan because I'd just be a bumbling mess. But... Hopefully I'd be able to say something other than like, blah, 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 I love you. That's probably how it go. Number seven is an author who I haven't read yet because his book hasn't even come out yet. <laughs> and that's Adam Silver. But I read um, a snippet of his book that he posted, was posted up through MTV. And I am so excited to read his debut novel. And he's also hilarious if you haven't seen his video on Epic Reads where he talks about diversity um, or follow him on Twitter. He's hilarious. I think he'd just be a fun person to make. Number six is Robin Raiden. Robin Raiden is an author that I wish more people talked about. She writes books that people need to, like, really need to read. Like, Evolution of Ethan Poe had so many different topics in it. It dealt with religion. It dealt with science. It dealt with evolution. It dealt with families. It dealt with... Um, acceptance. It was just really, really fantastic read, and I just think more people need to read Robin Reardon's works. Uh, number five. Okay, this is getting into the difficult territory where I couldn't pick. But number five, I ended up putting Tamora Pierce. Uh, Tamora Pierce wrote the my favorite fantasy series and my first fantasy series that I ever read, which was the Circle of Magic book series. And I would probably just thank her for writing such amazing series with this amazing characters of Sandry, Deja, Tristan Breyer, who I kind of grew up with because I read the first book of it in like sixth grade, and there's still books coming out of that series, or not that series, but a series that follows the same characters. And I would just want to thank her for that and beg her to let one of the books become a television show or something so I could see it in live action instead of just in my head. Uh, number four is Britt Hardinger. Uh, Britt Hardinger created the Real Story Safe Sex Project. And that project is an amazing thing that I wish I had been able to read back when I was in high school. And that is, it basically is stories that teach about safe sex for the gay community, and which you don't really get in the classrooms. And these books are so fantastic. And his book, which was based off of his character Russell Middlebrook from Geography Club, is one of my favorites on that series. Uh, number three, I have Margaret Atwood. Uh, I picked... Margaret Atwood, because, oh my goodness, every single one of her novels is a masterpiece. Uh, <laughs> Oryx and Crake um, was just amazing, amazing, amazing. I will reread The Edible Woman anytime anyone gives me a chance to do so. Uh, I just absolutely love her writing. And her essays, um, Margaret Atwood wrote an essay called Gertrude Talks Back, about Gertrude from um, Hamlet. And that's something you guys should totally read. If I can find a link to it, I will put it in the description. It's an amazing piece uh, where you get to hear the voice of Gertrude and just, it's lovely. Uh, for number two, I picked an author who I've actually never read a book from. I've only heard audiobooks from this author, and that was this month. <laughs> and that's Jay Bell. Uh, I've listened to my first audiobook this month, and it was Like and Subscribe by Jay Bell, and then Something Like Summer. And Oh my gosh, he is like writes the best romances. The characters are absolutely fantastic. And then I also watched some of J. Bell's YouTube videos of him and his husband, and they are the cutest thing ever. And I just want to be best friends with them. I want to go on double dates with them. It would just be it would just be awesome. Yeah. So J. Bell. All right, and number one on my list is an author that no one should really be surprised is at number one. Is my favorite author, and that is David Levithan. 
one thing is that I would absolutely, as a writer, want to ask him questions about his writing process and some of the character choices that he's made in his books. I really want to do that for most of the authors on this list, but I really, really just want to thank him for the book Realm Possibility. That book got me through high school and my first year of college. I could always go back to that book, and there was always a passage that I could read from it that would just motivate me to keep going. And I just want to thank him for that. And just all of his other books. And I've loved, like, Boy Meets Boy and his part of Will Grayson, Will Grayson. Um, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. He just, he's done some amazing collaborations. And he's just my favorite author. I just, there was no way he wasn't going to be at number one on this list. Um, but that's all for this list. You guys tell me what authors you really want to meet in the comments. Put me a big thumbs up if you're awesome. And subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video.